a few things you've said in the last few minutes or so have 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 touched on the idea of a leadership group of shared responsibility uh, uh, amongst more than just one person. Um, mm. uh, what is the setup at, uh, within the Cypriot men's team? Is it, is it coach, captain, vice captain, or is it broader than that? I think it's. I think it's. It's a bit broad. It's broader than that. There are those positions, um, but there is a there is a leadership team, um, which is coaches and and people around the top you know, helping to plan the tournaments and, and the direction of the team um and then one thing that we've had in the past is sort of you know senior leaders within a sort of you know captaincy team um where you've got you know experienced players or or just players who are good at good at doing those sort of leadership roles um you know, tasked with something, whether or not that's tasked with something and told to everyone else or just sort of a secret little side mission for them to, to, to be getting on with. Um, but you need that because you need players to be engaged um, and you need everyone within the team to, to, to feel like they've got, you know, not just feel like, but, but actually have a role. Um, and that's not to say that anyone who, yeah, that, that that is not to say that someone who isn't suited to a role should be forced into a role to be to then do something. I think you pick you pick your you pick the people who are naturally good at things that they are doing and then you sort of you know enhance it from there and say, okay, well you go ahead and and you be a taskmaster. You know, you you get people to do things in the warm-up or you get people to 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 be on time or whatever. And then you'll have people who are more motivational and you'll say, you go away and, and, and motivate the team. Make sure that no one's got their chins down if we've just lost or whatever. And then the social element, which is, you know, because um, especially with Cyprus or especially for, for, for sort of probably any, any international team really is that you don't, you don't quite get this, but you, unless you've, unless you've been in that environment, but you have a lot of time where you are not playing hockey and <laughs> if you don't fill those gaps with with things that are good for players because you can't fill it constantly with team talks and video analysis and all of that because it just gets so boring and you just you you start to despise being there you have to fill that with fun stuff and stuff that gets people engaged and that's why you hear about footballers going away and like you know world cups and they're they're playing golf on a tuesday or whatever and people get outraged by it but you need to do that stuff because otherwise you become you become so bogged down in 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 hockey or or you know performances whether they've gone good or bad right you know you can have a bad performance and dwell on it for for hours and hours and hours or the rest of the evening and that's not positive and vice versa with a good performance because you have to move on and prepare for the next game and so those little breaks you know those little breaks in the day that's when your uh, that's when your social leaders step in. I think that's when they become they become the they become valuable. 